everyone welcome back once again to our youtube channel oracle db online training so in this tutorial we are going to learn about how to perform how to apply the oem agent patch step by step and this is going to be a patch apply from the oem console itself so you don't have to manually deploy the patches on each of the servers and then apply it so here it is going to be like uh, we are going to apply the patch from the oem 13.5 uh, latest release update patch via the OEM console. So let's uh, proceed with this. Before we proceed with this topic, uh, I would like to request all the all the viewers to please do subscribe our YouTube channel. You can also enjoy our previous tutorials. And if you are looking for any live training, you can always reach out to our given contact details in the description. And also, if you are interested, you can join our membership program where you will be getting exclusive videos. Apart from this, you can purchase our recorded courses by visiting to our website. The links are in the description of this video. You can follow the same. If you find any difficulty, you can always reach out in the comment section or in the given contact details. So without wasting too much of time, let's focus on today's agenda, like how we can apply the agent patch uh, step by step via the OEM console. The patch is 13.5 release update 2000, uh, release update 22. Basically, this is April 2024 patch that we are going to up deploy on the agent. So the uh, benefit of having the patch apply via the um, what you call console, you can deploy patches across multiple servers without uh, too much of worry. So let's follow these steps. For this purpose, we have two different setups uh, running. So one is our main central OMS uh, server. On this server, we have already deployed the agent in the previous tutorial. If you want, you can go through the previous session where we have apply the latest patch i will show you the version of uh, current oms uh, that we have and also and the, we have one more server where we need to deploy the agent so currently on this server the agent is already running so we have to update this uh, agent's patch version to the latest one so for this purpose quickly we'll log into the console and then we'll verify some of the details So this is our OEM page there. We, we can go and check the current version of Enterprise Manager. So we can see like this Enterprise Manager is already running with latest version. And we can close this window. And after this, we, if you go to the targets, sorry, if you go to the, if you go to this option where we have agent uh, related information. So here you can look after the, all the agents that is uh, deployed in the, different different server so one of the agent is already up to date so i will show you how you can update this particular individual host where the agent is currently on the base version so we are going to deploy and uh, update this to the latest version similarly if you have multiple server you can do the same task whatever i will be explaining in the coming few minutes so with this <clears throat> let's uh, check what are the prerequisites first so you have to download the latest patch so latest patch for oem can be downloaded from the given link basically this is the patch id that we are going to apply so if you search the patch number this and you can get so if you want to know more about like how the oem uh, oem agent patching can be done so for this purpose you can follow this document id this document id will give the complete detail about enterprise proactive patch uh, details <clears throat> and uh, previously i have already prepared one of the video there uh, you can fo follow the steps like how you can manually apply the patch using the agent patcher option so for that these these steps can be utilized so if you are interested about this document you can also uh, check our website there you can purchase these documents all the documents related to the uh, our youtube videos so without wasting much time on this let's uh, focus on this so i have already downloaded this patch the agent patch that we need to deploy on this server and once you download the patch, basically you need to transfer this patch to the server. So this is the patch that I have downloaded via this uh, patch ID. And this is the link that we have. So uh, once we download this patch after that, the next step is to deploy. So let's quickly log in here. And when you want to deploy the patch, you have to go to the enterprise section here. And there's an option comes where you have the <clears throat> provisioning and patching. So there you have to look for the saved patch option so we have to click on this so previously 
I have already deployed this. I mean, uh, I have already uploaded this patch ID into this existing uh, save patch list option. But you can click on this and then you can choose the zip file that you have downloaded from Oracle site and then you can uh, upload it here again. So in my case, it is already uploaded here. So we can utilize the same. Okay. So once you upload this file, it will be visible here. It will take few minutes to get uploaded on the server. And after it get uploaded, then we can proceed with the next step. Okay, so let me quickly show you how to redeploy. Let me delete this one. So once we click on the add option, upload option, we have the we have to select the files. So there you can select the patch file that you want to upload. Once you've selected and then click on upload. So once you upload it, it will be visible in this list. Okay. So after the file is uploaded, what is the next step that you have to follow? So in the next step, you can go with offline patch option here. So this option comes where you can look into the offline patching. Patching and provisioning, there you can look for the offline patching. So, for offline patching, we need to also upload the catalog file. So, there you will upload this catalog file. I've already downloaded and uploaded it on the server previously, but again, I will show you how you can upload it. So, once you upload this file, then click on upload. So, this is already uploaded here. After this, we have to move to the next section there. We have to go back to the enterprise section. There you will find out provisioning and patching. There you can look for the patch and updates. So here we have to find out that patch number that we are looking at. So in our case, this is the patch that we want to deploy on a particular agent. So we'll find out this patch by clicking on search option. So this patch is now available. So we have to simply click here and click on create plan. So you have to define the name of the plan. Let's say I am applying April patch. So I'll mention April 2024 underscore agent underscore patch. I'll patch okay and then we have to click on add option uh, we need to add the target so let's say i want to deploy this agent patch on this server so i'll select this from here similarly if you have multiple uh, servers to be patched then you have to add all them all of them at this point and then we have to click on create plan so this plan got created now we have to go back to the patch and update option again there you will find out the patch uh, plan details. So you have to click on this plan. And once you click on this, you will find in the bottom section that, let me move this little up. So here in the bottom section, you'll find out the next option. So we basically we have to go with multiple different phases. So this is our, name of the uh, plan that we have created now we need to click on the next so here it will say like here the here any patch uh, that is recommended all this list will be appearing simply click on the next you can read the information in the given section then comes the deployment option so here we have to again go with the next option now in this uh, this point we have to click on analyze because we need to do the anal analyze before we apply the patch So basically during the analyze period, we can monitor the details by clicking on this section. It will open another tab there you can monitor the progress. 
there you can lo look into the logs currently it is running so i hope you are understanding this uh, process of applying multiple agent multiple host uh, agents with the latest facet if you are new to our youtube channel please do subscribe and share this video if you like please uh, click on like button that will help us uh, very So here it is completed and we can see validation is complete all the patches listed below without any conflict can be applied so this patch is basically ready for apply so we will just click on the next and then finally we have to click on deploy so there is a two options coming whether you want to deploy immediately or later if you want you can schedule it to deploy later or we can go ahead with a de deploy immediately so i'll go with the de deploy immediate option and we will see so now the deployment is in the progress we will just wait for a few minutes and then we will finally see the result as a patch got deployed successfully so the best part about this is that you don't have to manually uh, up, uh, download the agent patcher and apply agent patcher on the servers and you know multiple steps we can skip and suppose you have multiple hundreds of database agents to be uh, deployed you can follow these steps this is a very useful method that you can utilize for applying the agent patches across multiple servers so i have already created one video about uh, applying the agent patch using the manual approach now this this particular video is about how you can apply the patch using the oem console While this is in the progress, I will uh, suggest if anyone is interested about our courses, they can purchase it from our website. And if you are new to our YouTube channel, please do subscribe and share our videos. Take the membership program and enjoy the exclusive contents. There are systematic uh, tutorials are available with very detailed informations. You can uh, go through these videos as well.
So finally, we can see this message which says uh, deployment successful. That means uh, this particular patching is successfully completed. Now we have to do the verification. So even though we can save this as a template for future reference, so this can be utilized multiple times. Uh, you can save as a template also. Let's go back to our original uh, checks. We will go back to this option where we have all the um, what do you call uh, agents available. And so under the manage cloud control option, you can look after the agents. So here I can see that the second agent still it is getting started. I think it is it will take few seconds to get updated, but this has been already completed. So initially it takes few minutes to get updated because it is in the progress. We can see here. So the best thing what we can do, we can go back to the server and see what is the current status. So we can see the agent is now up and running on the server. So when it was started, it is started a few minutes back. Started like almost two minutes back. Currently we are seeing this as a in the progress. So now if you want, you can just uh, wait for a few minutes and then you'll find out that status will be turned back to the green. So this indicates the patch is successfully applied and we are currently seeing the second server where the patch was not there previously. Now it is updated with 13.5.22. So this is how we have to deploy the agent patches via the OEM console. I hope you have understood how this process works. It's a very simple and step-by-step -step guidance is there. So I, I hope you enjoy this tutorial. Thanks for watching this. And uh, with this, we have completed our agenda of today's session. Once again, thanks for watching this tutorial. Please do subscribe and share this video. And uh, if you have any question with respect to this video, please do uh, mention in the comment box. I will try to reply as soon as possible. Thanks for watching again. Thank you. Have a good one.